Hey, it's Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Well, is it time to impeach Donald Trump? According to the Democrats, the answer has, well, probably always been yes. Uh, Democrats uh, continuing to clamor for the impeachment of President Donald Trump. There are a couple of news articles out, uh, one from Fox and one from the Washington Post. Uh, Fox News with uh, their headline, which says, Congressional Democrats make early calls for Trump's impeachment. Now, if you really listen to Democrats, uh, Maxine Waters, that lunatic, uh, she's been calling for Donald Trump to be impeached since, I think, hour one of his presidency. So uh, she's been calling them for that for a long time. The, one of the latest Democrats, uh, a Democrat out of Texas, yeah, we do have a few, uh, Al Green, a uh, congressman who released a statement suggesting that Comey's ouster from the FBI was an obstruction of the investigation, and he says that it's uh, our mantra now, according to Fox News, our mantra should be ITN, impeach Trump now. Uh, Green wrote in an email which included a line in red pu- pushing those who received the email to forward this email to others who might be interested. Al Green and uh, um, uh, Maxine Waters, not the only lunatics who want Donald Trump impeached for, well, nothing so far legally that Donald Trump has done. There are other Democrats as well. Uh, a uh, Another Democrat, this one out of Kentucky, uh, Representative John Yarmouth uh, out of Kentucky telling a Kentucky uh, TV station on Thursday, this past Thursday, that, quote, well, we're actually pretty close to considering impeachment when it comes to Donald Trump. Uh, Representative Gabbard out of uh, Hawaii, another Democrat, said at a town hall event back in April, quote, I will, uh, on, on the issue of impeachment, I'm doing my homework. I will just say I understand the calls for impeachment, but what I am being cautious about is what I give you food for thought is if President Trump is impeached, the problems don't go away because then you have Vice President Pence who becomes President Pence. Uh, Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat out of Connecticut, said, quote, it's a looming constitutional crisis because it involves a potential confrontation, as did Watergate, between the president and other branches of government. It may well produce impeachment proceedings. Of course, he was talking about at the time the firing of James Comey. Now, according to uh, the Washington Post and, you know, those who, uh, actually live in the real world, it's actually going to be much tougher than what Democrats uh, think and hope and at least tell their uh, Democratic followers. Um, right now, Donald Trump hasn't been accused of any specific crimes. Well, uh, he hasn't really been accused of any specific crimes. Uh, his opponents have said that he's unfit for office. His opponents have said that he's crazy. His opponents have said that he's dangerous. But he hasn't actually broken any laws. Uh, This from the uh, Washington Post. While Democrats, Trump's opponents in general, might be clamoring for impeachment, it isn't as simple as Democrats deciding they don't like President Trump. There are two big issues for that. First, impeachment is a lengthy legal process. No president has ever been removed from office. And second, removal from office requires a vote from two-thirds of the Senate, which Republicans Still publicly back Trump, although some have criticized some of his recent decisions, but overall they still broadly support him. Uh, the Washington Post also writing, Trump hasn't been accused of any real crimes, you know, which is kind of a requirement for that whole impeachment thing. His opponents say he's unfit for office. Uh, it's not a standard by which presidents can be impeached, though. The Constitution states that the president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office uh, on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. How those high crimes and misdemeanors are defined is largely up to members of the House themselves. Removing a president is a three-step process. First, a majority of House representatives would vote in favor of impeachment. That means 218 out of the 435, and that ain't happening. Um, let's see here. Republicans hold a 238 seats. Uh, while Democrats hold 193, and it's probably going to keep shrinking for the Democrats 
Uh, Democrats would need to persuade 25 Republicans right now to uh, vote for impeachment. Second, the president would face trial in the Senate, and Chief Justice John Roberts would preside over that trial. And then, of course, the Senate would have to vote either to convict or acquit Trump. Two-thirds of the Senate would have to vote in favor of conviction for Trump to be removed from office. So again, um, yeah, Democrats not looking good, but they're going to keep hollering about this uh, because they want and they want Trump impeached. Democrats want Trump to go because he hasn't committed any crimes, but he defeated Hillary Clinton. Uh, Trump uh, hasn't committed any crimes, but oh yeah, there are, I guess, rumors that haven't been validated that he. Uh, uh, that, that his campaign colluded with the Russians to put Trump into the Oval Office, and there's no proof of that either. Okay, so basically the Democrats are throwing a fit. Uh, the Democrats are um, uh, in favor of all these leaks that are coming out from the administration. The Democrats are, are, are pumping up people and, and, and telling Democrats to, be, to resist Donald Trump. Uh, Democrats are telling their people that he should be impeached, and they have no reason to call for it, yet they're still going to do it, and I bet they will continue to do it for the next uh, four years or so. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 a.m. KFYO. Of course, uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll continue to talk the rest of the week about the faux outrage of the week from the Democrats in Washington and how the Democrats continue to call for the impeachment of Donald Trump, and they look pretty stupid when they do. Again, now, if Trump commits some crime that comes out, uh, then okay, we can talk about it. But so far, there's been no crime, there's been no evidence of collusion and the only people right now who look foolish are the Democrats. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show, weekday mornings, 830 to 11. Follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio. Have a great day.